So this fell pony here is um, he's overweight, you know. Now people are saying no, he's not in show condition. No, he's not. He's overweight, overweight by a long way. So what we got to do is a trot and a walk, a trot and a walk, a trot and a walk, because you're not going to be able to. Come on, you'll be very, very careful with horse like this. This much overweight. Um, you know, obviously to run the risk of heart attack is quite possible. Horrible thing to say, but it's quite possible. So you want a little trot, little walk. But he wants to walk out. So what we're doing is short trips with him. And gradually it will start to break down. Walk on, babe. Good boy. Come on. And he is spinning, in my opinion, um, He's been the boss, you know, and he he needs a bit of just, you know, you've got to do this like this, the way we're asking you to do it. I know I keep on about this, but there was a thing actually on YouTube, um, I think out in the States, someone sent me, and it was a lovely little kitty taking a white pony around in a Welsh cob show, and she was walking it around the obstacles. And the pony was behaving, everybody laughed in the audience, thought it was funny, thought it was amusing. So all the floral decorations, every time he come to the next thing, he just pulled her, the poor little girl, pulled her, started biting them, eating them, throwing about, lifting them out of the pot, shaking the soil off, eating them. And people's, you know, the remarks and everything like was that. But that is bad. Because, just imagine if... Uh, if he was out on the pony riding it or, or was it and it saw some grass he thought no I'll just go over here and eat that well that is discipline um, now the pony coped perfectly well with all the scary bits well it wasn't much that it was scary but the pony coped perfectly well with it but it just had no discipline so you could say well it must have had discipline to do what it was doing walking around well you know if you show something to a horse enough times it will get used to it but what it needed to do was halt when it was told stand still when it was told walk when it was told and not fight the little girl on the head collar now the next thing people would do is to put a bit in its mouth and then start jerking it in the mouth well that's no good what it wanted doing was training correctly in my opinion a lot of people would argue with me it's only a little girl with a pony but the little girl could get hurt that's what you have to realize Little girl could get hurt. I saw it happen many years ago. Um, little girl, I don't know, 10, 11, something like that, was leading a pony, and the pony went one way on the gate post, and she tried to hang on to it, and it got smashed right into the gate post. Hit all her little face, I mean, and you know, definitely knocked her face about where she was trying to hold on to the pony, but he just pulled past um, coming into the yard. You know, he wanted to go in and have his dinner. Well, he had no ground manners, and this pony had no ground manners. I don't know the name of the film now, but it was on a Welsh cob show out in America. And everybody laughing and saying, oh, he's so cute, he's so this, he's so that. Well, he wasn't anything at all other than a dangerous article, really, because he would hurt someone one day. But, good boy, being allowed to do what he wanted to do. Come on. So, you know, as I say, the uh, the pony was just doing what he wanted to, had no manners whatsoever, no ground manners, didn't respect the, the lead rope and head collar, and, you know, it's a dangerous, dangerous thing. And it made the little lass look very silly. Um, there was lots of people around, but they also wanted taking home and just teaching that, you know, you need to do this when I asked you to do it. And that would have been far better to teach the horse that than it would to go through a gateway or walk over some poles or look at some scary bits what it needed to do first in my opinion just my opinion I'm over the moon to see young people working with their ponies and horses but this was in a show setting you know in a show setting so it was um hey come on baby on you go there's a good boy
Come over there, darling. That's a good lad. Just stand a minute now. Steady. 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 Oh, stand still. So, as I say, this was in a show setting. Really dangerous. Seriously. So, in my opinion, you know, it's my opinion. I'm not saying people have got to do what I say, but if you think about it for a minute, but, you know, if you found it on there, it's a little white pony being led like, you know, a Welsh cob show. Um, and someone sent it to me. I don't know how to use the thing, but, um, you know, a lot of people would laugh and it looks cute and it looks funny, but it's not funny. The last thing it is is funny. Now, in our job, when you now attach to a pony, I'm not talking about that particular pony, but any pony, go on. Oh yeah, all right. You don't like your umbrella look. <laughs> not fashionable. The um so come on darling, when you get in a situation like this now the horse is wearing his harness and you've just tied it to a big lump of metal and metal and wood, um or all metal in this case, um that's highly dangerous. So if this horse now we come round here and decided he was gonna go over to that triangle and eat and there's a car coming on there serious trouble so they've got to do what you ask them to do you've got to force them you've got to ask them and it takes a great deal of patience now obviously they spent some time getting it used to being led amongst all these things but as soon as they introduced so they obviously had some stuff at home to train with i presume i don't know but i presume that would be right so they had some gateways and some scary bits around the menage i suppose and they said but there wasn't any you know foliage there was there like they have at shows you know they put all the pot plants out to make it look nice and you know the pony just done exactly what it liked had no respect for the young lady whatsoever no good anyway getting back to this one the same thing applies they've got to have respect for what you asked them to do don't force them don't hurt them don't whack them don't do all that you don't need all that you need the patience of a saint and you need to finish on a good note so don't, you know, if you get one thing conquered that the pony stands still when you ask it, you know, whether it's on the lead rope, long reins, whatever, whatever, what you, whatever you're doing, you've got to stand there. If you get that, and then you can move forward and it stands again, and you can back it up and it stands again, and you can turn left and right a little bit and it stands again, when you've asked it to, leave it. Don't bother trying to back it up that day. When you come back to it, you know, the next day, come on, babe, up you go, walk on. When you come back to it the next day, walk up, lift the horse, come over, come over. So this is a strange looking thing to a horse, we understand what it is, but what's them bits hanging down the back, why has it got lights on top of it? Them sort of things are strange, but coping with that alright. Didn't do, we'd have an argument about that, not so much, I'm frightened, but I'm not doing that. Looks funny, I'm not going near there, well that's no good. They've got to do what you ask them to do. And this little fella's coming on nice. But we're not pushing it, and if you notice while I've been talking, we have a little trot, I'll give them a little tap with the reins, another person said to me, oh that's crude doing this. Well, just at this moment in time, when you're training a horse, people will always do that, that will always happen, that sort of thing over their quarters, down their side, it's just natural, it will happen. No matter who's driving, you know, anyone can make a mistake, drop the reins, drop them, go slack, horse back, whatever. So, they need to know that, need to feel it, need to cope with it.